everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons. In the last episode, we pretty much um, got an entire new area to explore. We started the new season of fall, and we met a new bachelorette. In this episode, well, we'll be going off further into the fall and seeing what else we can uncover and seeing what else we can do. While off screen, I did go to the Safari Zone and visit the mine to see what it was like so we can have an idea of what to do in the next episode. But yeah, that's pretty much what I did off screen. I'm pretty exhausted because I did a lot of farming. Planted an entire field worth of carrots, and uh, yeah, I'm about to go out and buy some more root vegetables. I mean, we have access to so many fields. Oh, we got a new mail. So, country has, has restocked popular items. Okay, everybody acknowledges my number one lackey. Be grateful. Well, gee, thanks, Miss Witchy. Provisional rent certification. You have accomplished farm work. Have you a claim to farm work yet? In recognition of your efforts so far, we've you the title of provisional rancher. Let's continue to grow. All right, sounds nice and good. But, um, I want to see when's the next day that the next, uh, is the... Okay, cool. Cabin Country comes in today, so I'll be able to buy some new stuff for, um, my fields, which is good. Now, I've just now realized something here. I can call my horse at these stations. I never really tried that, to be honest. So, to start this episode out, we're gonna go to the Safari Zone again, and we're gonna, you know, show off some new things here. As you can see, we can just go there with our own horse. So yeah, here we are in the safari zone. This is where we would leave our animals um, at, but also a good place to get some supplies. Um, don't know if we can actually go into that little tiny cave. It'd be kind of cool if we could to explore it. But yeah, you can come to the safari zone. There'll be um, supplies here. You can you can grow around, which would be good to help you out with um, renovating your, your your home and putting um, nice stuff around the town. Also, there's a river you can go fishing at, and you can if I can jump in, go swimming in it. Oh, it's a turtle! Turtle! No, I want to grab the turtle. I want to grab the turtle. Get back here, turtle. No, I want to grab the turtle. I'm gonna go on a limit saying we can't grab the turtle. A steamer clam. Okay, I gotcha. No, I want to grab the turtle. I'm assuming there's a way to get him to come on the land. You can grab him. I hope so. That'd be kind of cool because I like turtles. Oh uh, boy. Even in the middle of the safari, we are not exempt from finding litter. How fantastic. Yeah, oh, look, that's a big fish. A trout. Okay. We'll see what's over here. What's this for? Okay, let's put food in the feeder. I mean, can I put fodder in there? I mean, what kind of food are they talking about? Let's try putting some fodder in there. Um, Bester. Fodder. Hold the fodder. Put it in. And let's see if that even does anything. Maybe it'll attract the turtle or the duck. Because if we can get the duck in there, we can get a ducky friend! Actually, wait, let's go down over here. I don't think I swam this way. Oh, there's a little, ca a little cave right there. Cool! Let's go explore that for as well if we, if we actually can explore it. Can we? Ah, we cannot. The game teases! Unless there's an actual way to get in there. Um, if anyone knows a way, can you actually get in that little thing? Or is that just there to tease you? Uh, but let me know! Let me know in the comments below, because I honestly do not know. But here's the mine, the mining point, and we use our hammer. Um, there is a method you can do, the mining spot apparently get different stuff in for each save you do. So if you can save before mining, and then if you don't get any stuff you want, you can just reload the save file. But, um, for the sake of the let's play, we're just gonna go with, we're just gonna go with the flow. Some rocks. Just stop mining. So what do we got here? Alright, um... Two of those interesting candy-looking gems. I mean, we can mine rock candy, I guess. Let's see here. Do -do -do. What do we find here? Other, other, where's the others at? Okay, uh, red and green down turf. Tuft. Oh, a gate! But a... Agate's a gate. We can, we can give a gate a gate! Oh, punny. But yeah, I think that's pretty much um, all we can do right now in the mine mine area. But um, yeah, we're gonna head back into town, and we're gonna go into the um, well, go to the wow, I can't even think straight right now. We're, we're gonna go to the trade venue, so we can buy some more seeds, and with the more seeds, we can start growing some more stuff. And Epona, we're gonna need you because I want to get around town fast as I possibly can because I don't want to be you know just lagging about. So we're gonna head down south. I'll show you what I did in the root crop field. Um, I pretty much just 
just like made an gi entire giant carrot field. There's nothing but carrots down here, so I have to water all these. I'm about to start getting some money in to upgrade my watering can because I'm tired of having this this derpy watering can. It's just really annoying. I hate the amount of time it takes to water plants, and I need to upgrade it. Probably should have upgraded it a long time ago. I probably could have upgraded it a long time ago, but you know, I just got sidestepped in other things like conquests, like the surprise conquests that were always put on me. Well, not always, one time, but you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna water these plants here, and then I'm gonna go into the trade venue and see if I can find some other better crops to plant in my other fields I have around town. And uh, yeah, our goal right now is total world domination, so when these carrots are ready, I should be ready for another conquest to take out another, far another um, farmer's land, if another one's available, which I'm gonna have to go check. Which I'll probably do right... Ah, uh, Bob Saget. Ran out of water at the very last second. How despicable. Alright, well, that's fine. We got the water in there. We're good to go. Now I'm gonna grab a bee real fast. I wanna give... It's apparently, Etta likes bees, or other types of insects like that, so I'm gonna give her one. I guess she has maybe a secret honeycomb stash or something, and she makes honey for her tea. She makes wonderful tea, by the way. Um, not the, Well, I would like to assume so she makes wonderful tea, because uh, my character seems to enjoy it, so we're gonna go with that one, shall we? So, um, what I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna go into... Let's go, let's go see what the cabin country has to sell for us in this... Uh, not cabin country, the silk country. Cabin country ain't got squat really right now, so we're gonna go to the um, silk country and see if they have any new stuff we can buy to, you know, increase our money and stuff like that. Before we do that, I should probably head on... Um, to the um, guild, so I can see how many fields are up, or how much longer till the next field is up. And to be sure we don't run out on our own field. Alright, uh, rent a public field. Okay, the next field up is Fritz's Spice Field. And Elise's flower field, that's fine with me. Okay, our next field, our honeybeaks field expires in seven days. I have yet to get the blueprint to actually make a beehive. It's probably in a very obvious place that I have not yet gone to yet. And I'll probably go to and find it um, while I'm off screen. But yeah, it's how it's looking right now. We seem to be in a good shape right now. We're not. We're going to make sure we don't lose any of those fields because I'd rather not make any steps backwards in our, in our quest for total um, town domination. So let's go and see what the Silk Festival has for us today. Silk Festival, no, Silk Country. So let's buy items. Alright, let's see here. You have, okay, a burdock seed. Okay, kind of, it's a root vegetable. Unfortunately, we use up our entire root field, but that's fine. Okay, cool. Eggplants. Waluigi would be very proud of us buying these. Sweet potato seeds. I remember in most Harvest Moon games, these things are very good. And unfortunately, they're root crop, and I already filled up my entire root crop with carrots, but that's fine. Once the carrots all grow, we'll just replace those. Um, let's see, anything else you got here? Spinach seeds, yeah. Only counts 20 of them. These are leafy crops. Go, put in the leafy fields. Alright, making a big investment, so let's just ship off some of this stuff. Okay, fresh tomatoes. Since the next conquest won't be for a while, we're good to ship some of this stuff off. This is probably I'm probably gonna regret this, but hey. Alright, so next we're gonna buy some iron. Because I wanna upgrade that watering can, and that is gonna be a pain. I have to keep, you know. Yeah. Okay, products. No. Other, yeah. Uh, iron! Oh, because she has four. That should be enough to upgrade it, but we'll buy them all in a speech, sir. What? Oops. Let's buy a uh, blueprint. See if you have the beehive blueprint. I'm not sure. I know it has to be around here somewhere. Let's say I already have it, and that'd be, that'd be kind of embarrassing. I didn't actually build my kitchen either. I have the blueprint for that, but I haven't built it yet. The house is kind of small for a kitchen, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit before doing that. Oh, a copper watering can blueprint. Okay, we'll have to come back for that sometime when I have um, more stuff to, eat, to build that with. So let's see over here, let's go to the cabin show and see what you have for us to buy. And not ship. Buy items. Buy blueprint. Uh, cheese factory. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, nope, nothing of uh, really of importance here for now. 
That's fine. That is fine indeed. So what I'm probably going to do now is I am going to do some more farm stuff off screen. So I guess you know, I have all those um, spinach plants I got to, you know, grow now. So, um, yeah, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to end up passing out because I don't have enough energy because I need better tools. Ugh, oh well. So I'll meet you guys back here when I finish all my farming preparation or when something exciting happens. So see you guys back here in a second. This is why I think Angela's cute. When you, in her heart event, when you tell her if you had one wish, it would, you, you would say, I wish to be closer to her. By doing that, she goes on a big little little frenzy, how, how you know, it's a quote-unquote waste of a wish and whatnot, and how she basically gets flustered at the idea that you want to be closer to her. But, um, she gets, she gets, she gets the idea wrong. She thinks you're trying to force friendship onto her, but you're really just saying, no, I just want to be closer to you, get to know you better, and, you know... See, you know, see what you like more. I should probably mention, no, I am not marrying Angela in this Let's Play. I just got her by to a purple flower by mistake, and I ran into this event while um, off screen. So I thought I should just say, yeah, here it is. Even though I already have this event uploaded on my channel, I guess I should realize that, you know, might as well show it. This explain why I like Angela a lot. I think she's, you know, even though she's cool, calm, and collective, though, like this face right here, I, I kind of think she's really cute here. Like, she's supposed to be, like, stern or whatnot, or a bit angry. Like, she, you know, she's offended. Like, well, if you want to get closer to me, just, you know, be sincere about it and don't wish for it. But... Sorry about that. Anyway, it's like, right here. It's, like, it's like how flustered she is and how she realized how silly she was being. I just find that really cute. Ah, uh, alright. Anyway, that's about it for that. I'm still cutting ahead to, like, find something else important to do. Still doing a lot of farming around town and whatnot, so I'll meet you guys back here when I do some more farming and stuff, and like I said, I am not marrying Angela in this Let's Play, I'm marrying someone else. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but um, I'll probably explain to it when I, when I show her first heart event in the Let's Play. It's not going to be hers, it's just going to be someone else. Anyway, yeah, be back in a second. Alright, so not much really happened off screen. I tried to find certain villagers, but I couldn't really find them. Probably late in the day, and I don't know most of their um, traveling patterns, so yeah, we're just going to wing it. Let's go visit Witchy and see what she has to say for us. You know, she'll come back later. It's been a few days since we discovered her, so let's go and see what she has to say for her bad self. She probably has nothing new or anything, but hey, could be nice to see what she does. Unless she's still asleep. Or if she's not in her house at all. Oh, there she is. It's so bright outside, I don't like it. Oh, okay. Hey, you, you live in my neighborhood, don't you? In that case, you should come visit me whenever you want. You have time and bring me a present. Alright, that's pretty much about it. She seems to have a love for frogs. Okay. Thought she'd actually do something else for us. Maybe if we like, become better friends with her. Um, so I think you can't fish in the swamp over here, which is kind of unfortunate, really. Oh, well. Um, so, I'm afraid... Oh, hello, we have a dark log over here. Anything else back here? Um, not much. All right, here's what I'll probably do now is I'm going to visit the Safari Zone again, see what I can get out of the mines there, and we're probably going to call it an episode. I do apologize for this episode not being, you know, too content-heavy or anything in it, but, you know, the later we get into this game, the more, um, the more it, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The harder it is to make up, you know, commentary, I guess, or to make it keep it fresh and invigorating. So, yeah, we're going to go into the mines again and see if we can find anything cool in there. If not, well, hey. What can you do? Um, wish I could go to that little hut, that little cave over there. Anyway, um, does that fodder even get used for anything? Or they're still sitting over there? It got eaten by something. Not exactly sure what, but something did eat it. Another thing I did not notice: if you do explore the safari zone enough, you you will find materials all around, which is a good thing to do if you're low on materials such as rocks or wood. Um, you can't find them in town. Come to the Safari Zone. You will find a nice amount of them here, which will probably come in handy when I go to upgrade more of my um, equipment and facilities around. But yeah, let's go see if we can get anything good out of this. Where is my hammer? There we go. Old hammer. It's hammer time. Ooh. Now, uh, if we can get some iron, that'd be good. Uh, that's all we got, really. All right. Well, we got some pretty cool gems. I'm pretty sure they can fish fetch a pretty penny. Let's see how much those are worth. Um, let's go to the other. Alright, let's see here. 
The it's, okay, I can never pronounce it, but these are pretty good, worth a nice amount. I'm gonna get some. No, I, I bought that iron. All right, so we got some nice materials here. I'm not sure we can use them for. Probably sell them to make a nice buck off. But buck off of them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I do apologize again. It's a bit short, but hey, got to sh show off a bit more of the safaris now and some of the cool things here. Maybe um in the future I'll probably send some of my animals here to relax. Probably should have done that in this episode, but I didn't think of that until now. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other parts of this series. And leave a comment in the comment section below if there's anything else, you know, you think I should try out if I missed anything. I'm more than happy to, uh, to do anything you guys request. I read these comments a lot, and it helps me get a good direction where to go next in this Let's Play. So, as always, everyone, this is Gamalad, signing off.